Hello, third grade. Today we're going to read chapter two in our book. And how this is going to work today is I need you to follow along with me. And then for the second part, you are going to read on your own. So I'm going to read half and then you're going to read half. You're going to have to record your voice on class kick so then I can hear that you completed it. We will be taking a quiz on Friday to see what you remember. Go ahead and begin. Chapter two, Wilbur. Fern loved Wilbur more than anything. She loved to stroke him, to feed him, to put him to bed. Every morning, as, she, as soon as she got up, she warmed his milk, tied his bib on, and held the bottle for him. Every afternoon, when the school bus stopped in front of her house, she jumped out and ran to the kitchen to fix another bottle for him. <clears throat> she fed him again at supper time and again just before going to bed. Mrs. Arable gave him a feeding around noontime each day when Fern was away in school. Wilbur loved his milk. And, was, and he was never happier than when Fern was warming it up, up a, milk, a bottle for him. He would stand and gaze up at her with adoring eyes. For the first few days of his life, Wilbur was allowed to live in a box near the stove in the kitchen. Then, Mrs. when Mrs. Arable complained, he was moved to a bigger box in the woodshed. At two weeks of age, he was moved outdoors. It was apple blossom time and the days were getting warmer. Mr. Arable fixed a small yard, especially for Wilbur under an apple tree and gave him a large wooden box full of straw with a doorway cut in it so he could walk in and out as he pleased. Won't he be cold at night? asked Fern. No, said her father. You watch and see what he does. Carrying a bottle of milk, Fern sat out under the apple tree inside the yard. Wilbur ran to her and she held her bottle. She held the bottle for him while he sucked. When he had finished the last drop, he grunted and walked sleepily into the box. Fern peered through the door. Wilbur was poking the straw with his snout. In a short time, he had dug a tunnel in the straw. He crawled into the tunnel and disappeared from sight, completely covered with straw. Fern was enchanted. It relieved her mind to know that her baby would sleep covered up and would stay warm. Now, if you have been listening carefully, I want you to write down on your class kick what you think enchanted means. Write down what you think enchanted means. That's how I'm gonna know that you are listening. Every morning after breakfast, Wilbur walked out to the road with Fern and waited with her till the bus came. She would wave goodbye to him and he would stand and watch the bus until it vanished around the turn. While Fern was in school, Wilbur was shut up inside his, his yard. But as soon as she got home in the afternoon, she would take him out and would follow and he would follow her around the place. If she went into the house, Wilbur went too. If she went upstairs, Wilbur would wait at the bottom until she came down again. If she took her doll for a walk in the doll carriage, Wilbur followed along. Sometimes as these journeys, on these journeys, Wilbur would get tired and Fern would pick him up and put him in the carriage alongside the doll. He liked this. And if he was very tired, he would close his eyes and go to sleep under the doll's blanket. He looked cute when his eyes were closed because his lashes were so long. The doll would close her eyes too, and Fern would wheel the carriage very slowly and smoothly so as not to wake their infants. One warm afternoon, 
Fern and Avery put on bathing suits and went down to the brook for a swim. Wilbur tagged along at Fern's heels. When she waded into the brook, Wilbur waded in with her. Waded means that you are walking in the water, in shallow water. He found the water quite cold, too cold for his liking. So while the children swam and played and splashed water at each other, Wilbur amused himself in the mud along the edge of the brook where it was warm and moist and delightfully sticky and oozy. Your assignment will be to complete the chapter. There are just a couple more pages. You can do this on Overdrive. Remember, you have to download the book and you're finishing the last three pages on Overdrive. Then there are some questions on Class Kick for you to answer as well.